Ooh, it's tasting like it's delicious, even though I don't have it in my mouth yet. What are you drinking over there, Englishman? I bet it has something alcoholic in there. Whiskey. Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Dino Corp. I'm sitting next to Bloody Now. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter. <laughs> Juicy content. Thing works is on Patreon. Follow us on Twitter account. Ring the bell. Follow the notification squad. Bang! Bang! In your face. Follow us on our personal YouTube channels, please. Links right down there for you. Did you bang just wake him up? No, no, he was awake already. Oh, no. All right. Oh, I just realized, are we doing what I think we're doing? Yeah, we're doing what I think we're doing. Now I need to turn the behind the scenes camera off because all my notes are on my phone. So oh, you gotta do what you gotta do. Gotta do what I gotta do. Today, we are uh, reviewing Satya, the Hindi language film uh, directed by Ram. Say his name for me. Um, Ram Gopal Varma, who is a legendary um, director in, yes. in, in in Bollywood. Correct. Uh, I don't believe we. I could be wrong. I don't believe we've seen anything of his. I think this might be the first thing. Right. I could be wrong. I, I could be. We. But I know. I, I know his name, and I know he's. One of the big time legendary directors. Yes. Uh, written by Anirad Kashyap. Who? Yes. Produced by Ram uh, Gopal. Uh, composed by Vishal Bardwaj. And then. Wait, who? Yes. Okay. And then starring uh, JD. Say his last name for me. Uh, JD Chakrabarthi. Manoj uh, Bajpayee. Manoj Bajpayee. Uh, a ton of other people. Yes. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Umila. Um, oh, yeah, no, Umila Matongar, who plays Vidya, and yes, who we've seen many, many things, uh, the uh, Sorabi Shukla, or Sorab Shukla, forgive me, sir. And it felt like a lot of the smaller parts as well, I felt like we'd seen them have seen supporting them. roles in yeah. something. Yeah. It, that's what it seemed like. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is a 1998 um, underground gangster... <laughs> Underworld thriller. Yes, and we should also a, a special shout out to another supporting role, which is the city of Mumbai. Uh, <laughs> pretty much played a supporting character. Uh, an innocent man is embroiled in the underworld after being falsely accused, uh, charged, and set out to punish the perpetrators who subjected his life to misery. Uh, they could have come up with something better than that on IMDb. I don't like that. I don't like that synopsis at all. Synopsis at all. I think it's a bad synopsis. I would not. That's not how I would qualify this film. No, in fact, it not only is bad, I think it does it a disservice. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, that's anyway. weird. That's the first time I've read that, I think. Uh, unless we read it during the trailer reaction. Anyways, 100% spoiler review. It came out in 1998. I'm pretty sure most of you have seen it. If you haven't, obviously go watch it, come back. Unless you'd like to be spoiled, then stay here and be spoiled. Which some of the stupid babies have actually... I love you guys. That you will actually stop a review, go and watch the film, and then come back. Yeah. I love that. This is one of the ones I feel like most have seen. Right. Just because it's we're late to the party. Yeah. It's been around it's a long an time. It's film. Uh, but anyways, Rick, your initial thoughts. Well, I have a partial paragraph because okay. the other half of the paragraph I'm just going to improv. Okay. The beginning of, of, of the paragraph is this. Yes. A film as important to Indian cinema as Taxi Driver was to American cinema... Mm -hmm and a film that personalizes gangsters in a genre for India, as well as Goodfellas did for America. Mm -hmm. I don't believe you'd ever have Gangs of Wasapur or Sacred Games if you didn't first have Satya. Yeah. And I think it's very evident for as green as he was. <laughs> yeah. I now know why he was an inspiration to people like Irfan Nawaz, and Nawaz. And then uh, Tripathi. And yes, because... Manoj, yeah. I want to call him the happy gangster. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll get into him, Yeah, obviously. but ultimately, I, went, I actually went from the beginning of the film finding myself being a little bit bored, and that was because of my own headspace at mm -hmm. the time, and making myself stop and take my time with it and recognize where it fit in cinematic history for India yeah. and wound up realizing that I not only really, really like the movie, it's, a, it's one of the most important films, I think, in Indian cinema history, 100%. probably. And I, I really, really liked I it. I love this movie. Um, I'm, I love most all parts. There's parts I didn't enjoy, mm -hmm. and we'll talk about that. Sure. Um, and obviously it's not perfect because of the time, and I think the, probably the budget as well. Uh, definitely, Which definitely yeah, affected it, but exactly. you can't really you can't help that. Obviously, like because the the best quality you could find still isn't a great quality. Uh, it, it, it's like '80s films here in Hollywood. That's what it felt like. Yeah, 
uh, like almost grainy mm -hmm. a lot of the times. Exactly. Um, so obviously it wasn't shot on the best camera. No, it and, feels it almost feels like a film from the 70s. Yeah. Even though it's late 90s because of those aspects. Um, but I loved this movie. I thought it was fantastic. I thought the character... This just shows why Anya Akasha was probably my favorite writer. Almost. It could be ever. Who knows? Because everything he does, he's a phenomenal writer. He, he really knows is. how to write stories. The story in this is so freaking good. To make you care the about story these characters. story is so good. Uh, and also, in terms of gangster films, it's probably one of the easiest to follow gangster films. I would absolutely agree. Where a, you, lot, a lot of films, yeah. you've, you have so much to keep up with. So yeah. many families, so many names, so many characters. Yeah. I, I agree. This would be one of the easier stories. Yeah, it's pretty okay, straightforward. There, and then there's a monocious character. And two main gangs. Yeah, and then you these two people above them, and they kill both those people. Yeah. Uh, that's <laughs> pretty much it. Yeah, that was uh, that's basically the story. Um, With a love story in between of Satya yeah. and Vidya. Yeah. So we'll, we'll get into all aspects. As, uh, like I said, I, I really enjoyed this movie. It was, it was an, even though it was 2 hours 45 or something like that, it was an easy 2 hour 45. It, it really, after it got through intermission, I found myself thinking as I was watching it, thinking I am really enjoying just sitting in this world. I mm -hmm. kind of don't want this, this could go on for another two hours. Yeah, my, my least favorite part uh, of this film is the songs. Uh, I, not because they were bad songs, I actually thought they were really good songs. Do you mean the musical numbers yes. themselves? I Interesting. don't think they fit in this world. And um, okay. I believe this was, if this was an Anya Kashyap directed film, those would not have been in there. Probably. I think the best one, and the one I think fit the best, was The Wedding. Where uh, Manoj was going all crazy. You didn't like the drunk scene with the guys? No, the I, drunk song? I liked the song. Right. That, it's, that's, that's not the thing. I, I, I thought it's the show part You would have pulled them from I, the Yes, movie. I think the songs were, were nice, and I the love songs with, between Satya and his girl, they were all yeah, nice. I, like I just too. don't think they fit in this film. I agree with you, Yeah. but I also don't... I also... Um, I think they fit, like, as a straight gangster movie, uh, unless you're doing a straight up gangster musical. It just, it takes me out sometimes when there's like, when they're just singing a day outside but of I, the wedding, which makes sense because they're at a wedding, which is right, what, which what I think Anya Akasha, when we talk to him, he's like, you know, I don't like musical numbers. So it's either like it's the, the Nawaz doing Elvis behind the thing, mm -hmm. or it's like a, or like a party scene. Yeah. Uh, or something like that. So that, I believe, and fit. And you know me, I, I wish life was a musical. I, I, I enjoyed them, I liked them. Do they fit? No, but does yeah. it bother me? That was me? the no. issue. It wasn't, it wasn't the fact that they were bad, they were good <laughs> songs. Like the, the, the one that right at the beginning, which was extremely random. The first one. Oh yes, the, it was I the think, most random. I think that was in I, the trailer. I think that's the most random. I think that was in the trailer as well. And we were like, what the heck is yeah, going what's on? What's going on here? Um, it was a good song and, and having Manoj going all crazy and We'll get into him. I'm really right, excited to talk about him. Absolutely. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that was probably my biggest gripe outside of the, um, the fact that they didn't fit. Um, outside of the, obviously, I think the money it hurt, obviously, because it was a little grainy. And some of the stunt work, especially at the beginning, was real yeah. bad. But I'm betting they didn't even have a stunt coordinator. 100% agree with that. Um, but once again, that's a budgetary thing. So I can't really. <laughs> yeah, and I've seen a lot worse, too. Yeah. Outside of that, I love the film. Like, yep. uh, those, were the, those were my biggest gripes with this film. I don't know if you have any other gripes. I, I, I don't. Uh, in fact, I'm going to say something that might be profoundly shocking to the stupid babies who have been around. And tell me if you agree. Mm -hmm. There were moments where, because of budget, I could tell this was a blend of sync sound and dub sound. Mm -hmm. And there were moments, there was one particular moment, it's toward the latter part of the film, where the, they've broken in to find Satya and Vidya's just finding out about who he is. Mm -hmm. And she's crying. Yeah. And you could hear the dubbed crying sound, yeah, which yeah. all it never works because the emotional connectivity is not the same. Mm -hmm. Even if the even if she's doing well dubbing it, she's not capturing what she felt in the moment. And you can tell that the visual and the audio aren't matching. Mm -hmm. But I thought she was so good and was so believable in her moment that it didn't it didn't pull me away. Mm -hmm. I, I could, I knew it was being dubbed, but it didn't pull me. And there were several moments where I knew they were dubbing the sound, but it wasn't pulling me from the believability. That's probably the first time that's ever happened for me mm -hmm. in, a, in a film is that dub sound didn't didn't 
pull so, me out. Uh, good job, editors, and good yeah. job, I guess, director. I don't, and I the don't director. Know who else, would, would be the, um, but yeah, we can talk about everything. Um, let's just get into Manoj okay. uh, right now. Okay. That, <laughs> we've seen him, obviously, quite a lot. We saw him first, I think, in Gangs. And then, yes. and then, uh, but I, we, I think we'd have a much better appreciation for his performance in Gangs if we watched it now. Oh, I think everything. Uh, that would be the case. Um, but anyways, uh, after that, it was, uh, I believe, the Professor film. Correct. And obviously, we loved it. He was a very, um, uh, he, he obviously had a lot of gravitas. He's older. Mm -hmm. He had this um, elegance about him. And a sweetness yeah. of disposition. And then the same thing with the Sushant film. Uh, he was an old, even though he was like uh, uh, the leader of like a gang kind of thing. Yeah. He still had that wise beyond his years. It was so fun and interesting to watch him early, like the beginning of his career, being a, so young. <laughs> this his character a lot. Remind me, I don't know if you ever saw the. Um, I think it's called it's. It's called the professional. No. With um. I know uh, of it, but I haven't seen it. Um, Gary Oldman. I haven't seen it. No. Yeah, it's so, uh, a very crazy type character. I loved all the little quirks he gave I him. did too. I loved his laughing uh, all the time. Yeah, the, the, his laugh. His and Satyao's relationship was beautifully Beautiful. done. Didn't you love the moment when he says to him, I, I'm jealous of Vidya? I 100% believe. Yeah. <laughs> if Satya would have asked for him to go oh, to Dubai with him, I believe he would have. He would have joined him. <laughs> I believe he would have, and that's what he wanted. <laughs> uh, I think he was deeply in love with Satya. Oh, you do? Oh, I do. Oh, that's one I of my was, theories. I think it was a legit oh, I think man that, crush. That, that could have been, yeah. but I'm going with he was a It wouldn't bother me. He was completely in love yeah, with Satya. Yeah, that wouldn't bother me if that was a the way he just like looked at Satya, the way he, <laughs> the way he was like, he, he looked at him basically you know, like a brother or, or like somebody he deeply loved. Um, and you know, up to your interpretation. My interpretation is he loved him, uh, <laughs> uh, which is fine. Maybe one day we'll ask Monosh. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, um, I love the relation. It reminded me a lot of Kaniki and Danny. Oh, Duco good, good comparison from Greece. Yeah, um, they're <laughs> like they're very like tough men, mm -hmm. but they also they they have this relationship with each other that's deeper than the relationship with anybody else. Yeah, which which is one of the things I want to compliment about the film itself. We can get back to Minaj. We're probably going to be here a while everybody because <laughs> uh, I want to talk about Vishal. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but one of the things I loved about this, it reminded me a lot of and I don't mean that it was a copying at all. I just am complimenting it for a similarity in the Goodfellas has a lot of humor, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. A lot of humor in it for a gangster movie. Yeah. This has a lot of humor in it, but it had something else that I really enjoyed. And that was for a genre that is definitively toxic masculinity, mm -hmm. right? Definitively patriarchal. Italian mafia films, there's love and there's affection, but not like we saw with these guys. Mm -hmm. I mean, these guys were constantly hugging and kissing, and you you'd literally go one moment shooting each other and and screaming. Was and cussing. the lawyer gay? Uh, I don't know. Cause, cause right when he brought Satya in, he was like getting, I and mean, it could have been just the affection part. He was getting real close and like eyes to eyes, making eyes. It felt like to me with a lot of the people. And it, obviously they didn't really go any into that. And it was no. just a character trait of his. Um, no, I, I, I felt I loved that lack, that just openness of yeah. physicality and affection with each other. And I uh, thought, for a gangster movie, come on. I thought everybody in this film was phenomenal. Uh, everybody was, did a great job. There was a Satya, who I don't believe we've seen before. JD, um, uh, excuse me, Chakravarti. He did phenomenal. Yeah, I thought he did, like he he brought a, a real. Everybody in this was really small. Yes, there was nothing over the really, top. Really, and even though the, obviously like um, uh, Manoj's character obviously was he was really hyper and and loved all that stuff, but he was still obviously he's Manoj. He's believable. <laughs> yeah, and this character could have been, and what makes this character so beautiful in his hands, this character could have been really annoying. Oh yeah. Could have been really annoying on a number of levels. Yeah, and he, and he wasn't. No, um, obviously, but not. So, but that goes to obviously the writing of Amirat Kashyap. Yes, who knows how to write characters, as we know. Correct. <laughs> I mean, and a great story. I did you see it coming? What? When he got shot in the back of the head? Who? Manoj. Oh, Manoj? No. Which one of the things I also I want to actually say. did. You did. 
Well, was, no, I thought he was gonna die. I thought he was gonna die at some point. I just didn't, I didn't know it was gonna be in that moment by him. When there, because I felt there was this false sense of security that was happening. I knew we're coming to the end of the film, and I thought, when he turned around, the thought went through my mind, he's gonna shoot him in the head. <laughs> no, that, that actually, which is one of the things I loved about the one you, you love that about gangster films. When you can kill off characters randomly, and you you didn't, I did not expect it. And it happened multiple times. Yeah, there were other times. So I definitively did not know. In the same way, I'm not going to say something. Uh, watch Goodfellas. Huh. Same thing happens in Goodfellas. Characters that you don't expect to die die. Let's yeah, just say that. That's one of the the, the great thing. That's one of the great things about anything, if like TV shows or, or movies. If you can kill off characters. Um, just like um, and it makes sense. right in a justifiable way, um, but and you can like catch the audience off guard. That for I think I, it brings enjoyment, even if you love that character. It's like, oh, I can't believe they did that. Yes, I can't believe they just did that. Well, and what it is is it's it's not scripted as much as it is real because that's what happens in real life. People you never expected to be gone are gone, and people you. Like wished when, were aren't when the, <laughs> when, the, when, the when the new commissioner uh, even though once I, I think it's because budgetary they didn't show a lot of the killings sometimes yeah when he went out and he they shot him right I was like oh I didn't expect him to shoot him right then right. I was expecting it to be just a little later they were gonna kill him but they just killed him like right off the bat yeah uh, after his monologue um, about the police right um, which was which is another subject man we can talk about yeah we really talk, really great the underworld in Mumbai and the I connection thought, between law and politics I thought the lawyer guy who ended up betraying Manoj's character in the end and then getting shot right. did really really did well really, really I loved well. his character I did too uh, obviously our guy who we've seen multiple times he's always been he's great. always really really say his name we need to yeah he's name. always been we've seen him in so many films now uh, so Ravi Shukla yeah, he, he's always good, and he was phenomenal in this. Yeah. I, I loved his character. I he he seemed like an uncle of, of the underworld that they were all in love. I loved the weird relationship Manoj had with his wife. I did too. Can you believe that? It's weird. It, that's exactly what I, I said. Mean, I mean, I, I was like, I was watching. And I was like, okay, he's a terrible person. And, right. and, but I'm enjoying their their that's dynamic. That's exactly what I said to Johnny. Said this this relationship he has. But his wife sometimes is like, he's, it's so awful, and then at the next moment, you actually like it. It's just this weird, dysfunctional, but you feel like it's going to last forever yeah. relationship. Yeah, it's, it's, it was really strange. I agree. You're like, right, right when they introduced them and they were fighting, and then uh, she was yelling at him, and then they closed the door, and then they were all like, oh, I can't I know. believe that. Like, he slaps her in front yeah. of him, and I'm like, okay, dick. Yeah. And then she slaps him. He's like, you slap me? And then later on, she's like, you don't buy me gifts, and he makes a joke about it. I, I, just, I agree. I yeah. absolutely agree. And so, once again, the writing of this by Anirat Kashyap, as we know, was phenomenal. He knows how to write scripts, and he knows how to create great, great stories and relationships, relationships believable relationships characters to make the audience care. We've yeah. seen it in every single thing that he's ever been a part of, and what's, especially written. And what's amazing is he does it in dark subject matter. It's a really difficult thing to do, mm -hmm. because oftentimes when people are writing for dark subject matter, what they're writing for is just the subject matter. Mm -hmm. And he's a well-rounded, uh, fully uh, giving life to the characters kind of writer. It just must be like so many writers that we can talk about here in American cinema that you know that if you got to do that, the gift you'd be given with the script. And speaking of gifts that are given, Mr. Bardwaj, <laughs> the score in this thing. No. I have only one complaint. Uh, only one complaint. What? Kenny G, really? Do we have to have a Kenny G moment? <laughs> there was one Kenny G moment the in the restaurant. Yeah. And Kenny G is a magnificent saxophone player. He really is a brilliant saxophone player. I just have bad memories of Kenny G. Question. So it just it, it, it traumatizes me. This is me. what I, I, I maybe, maybe you know. Um, do the composers handle all the music or just the songs? Uh, in Indian cinema, I don't know. Like, does he handle the, the background score of the film as well? Well, I or do know this. Or does he just... Do the song. I do know this. I do know that it can go either way. I know that somebody can have total control of score and songs. I know that one person could do songs and another person could do score. Mm -hmm. You could have several people do it. Like if you're Hans Zimmer, you're gonna have a team of people composing sometimes. Uh, I, I don't know. It wouldn't surprise me knowing the depth of musical ability that he has 
that he did everything. Mm -hmm. But I do know it's a mixed bag in, yeah. in Indian cinema that you'll get. Sometimes they write the songs and the score. Gotcha. Yeah. So I, for okay. this, I don't know. We'd have to break yeah, it down. I agree. And take like a look. I said, the, the, I loved all the songs in terms of just being songs. It's just the, my 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 gripe was that in this style of film, I, sometimes these songs just take me out of this world. And they surely would for anybody not familiar with 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 Indian film. I'm, um, I'm really glad we saw this. Okay. Um, I, I would, if you're recommending this to anybody who's from the West, okay? Which I think they could digest it. They absolutely could, but you would need to give them some understanding at the outset about a couple of things. First of all, why certain things are included in Indian cinema that are the, the stereotypical musical number, right? Mm -hmm. And why, why that was that way. And also, you, <clears throat> if you compare this to uh, American films of 1998, an American audience is going to look at this and go immediately because technologically and budgetarily it doesn't match. Mm -hmm. And it's not fair to do to Indian cinema. Yeah. Because now Indian cinema is now up to speed with American and international cinema. But at the time, yeah. they were still doing a lot of catch up with budget and, and, and technology. Yeah. And it's, it's not a fair comparison to compare it to films of 1998. You need to, you need to see this film in the context of what you understand Indian cinema was doing at the time and how I, I read in our Bollywood book. Oh the, yeah, I read the, the Satya pitch. Yeah, yeah, and how groundbreaking, groundbreaking this was yeah. at the time <clears throat> and still is to this day that it not only, I mean, yes, prior to this, if you didn't have the, the, the angry young men and, and Big B and a couple movies I know we haven't seen, that paved the way for this. Yeah. But this not only, <clears throat> I, th I really think that Satya not only paved the way for a new kind of genre in Hindi film, mm -hmm. but I explained this to Indrani, I was talking about it. It's almost like if, if Indian cinema had previously been, and I don't mean this as an insult, it's just a growth of the, of the art. If it had been a, a tricycle with little ribbons on the side and someone was riding it, these creators came over and kicked that off the road and got on a Harley. Mm. And it not only caught a new <clears throat> genre, but I think what you see right now, that's why I said in my paragraph, about you have Sacred Games and you have Gangs of Wasipur because of this. And you have Nawaz. And you have Trip Nawaz and, and you have Trip yeah. Yes, 100%. And you have the kinds of things we're seeing on the OTT platforms. Mm -hmm. Because this is the kind of film that people got to see at the time in the history of Hindi cinema and go, you can do that? Mm -hmm. I guess you can do that. Yeah. Let's do that. But I, so I can't... I would put that in like one of the greatest films in Indian cinema history as far as its influence. Yeah. Wouldn't you? Oh yeah, in, in, in the film just by itself, it was you because after after you get into it, you kind of almost don't notice the, the you, exactly. lack of quality anymore. That's what when I got past that at the beginning and said, "Stop it! Yeah. Don't judge it. Let it be what it is." You get past it. You get sucked in, and it's just a really good film. Absolutely. And so um, we haven't talked about the director, yeah. who obviously, well, we kind of have because he's part of all of it, of course. Um, and I thought he did a masterful job at, at, at what he had at the time. Oh, oh especially um, the end. Mm -hmm. That whole right around the ceremony at the water, and there was one spectacular shot of of them coming out of the movie theater mm -hmm. into the uh, bunch of chaos. He, he, he did really, really well. Yes, I I, I said out loud, beautiful shot. Mm -hmm. uh, so <sighs> yeah, he, and he 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 handled all the chaos really, really well, um, and. I thought he did a, just a, a phenomenal job overall in the film. I would like to see a lot more of his work because I know he's a legend um, of any, and I did read in that Bollywood book as well. Every character in this is based off of real person, real people, uh, or somebody that he read about. Yeah, and he also, and I'm sure you read as well. He he was very he let the actors improvise when they wanted to, which right. I think added to the believability and I, and I, of these characters. I wonder how much of that Anurag picked up on watching him direct. Because we know that that's something that Anurag likes to do with his directing, is he just likes to let the actors go and see what he can find. Yeah, I, and I think it's... I mean, I know some directors are really picky, but I think that's the best way to do it. Agreed. Obviously, you can have your script, and that can be your guideline. This is where we're... This is the Correct. route we're taking. Right. But you can swerve sometimes to make it a little more believable. Well, because directors know 
oftentimes the gold is found in between the words mm -hmm. and you get moments that if you allow them to happen they're going to become the stuff of legend mm -hmm. the most iconic one not maybe one of the most iconic ones is uh, midnight cowboy does some hopping crossing the street i'm walking here mm -hmm. that was a real cab driver who really did that and they just kept the camera rolling and thankfully john voight stayed in character and uh, like can we also we got to talk about this moment this is for me and i, I think it's this in indian cinema mm. it's the moment for indian cinema that i think is comparable to leo standing on the titanic saying i'm king of the world uh oh when Munoz is standing on that rock Hey, I'm the king of Mumbai. Yeah. <laughs> Next time we come to Mumbai, I want to I go gotta there. go to that rock. I want to do that moment right there. There was a lot of beautiful, the, the way he, he depicted Mumbai. Uh, yeah. And this, I thought it was really, really well done. And he made it, he made it like a lot of the, whenever they went off and talked or, I, they went to the beach a lot. A lot. Like, to the ocean. Which, it's a it's beach Mumbai. city. It's Mumbai. Yeah. And it made me want to do some research, and I did some on because he said this is based on characters mm -hmm. real people really sp i thought that note at the end about yeah that was interesting wasn't that interesting his director note at the end mm -hmm. i love that because it it just you already felt it in the film but that little note at the end was I just a little just as bad for satya yeah as i do for the people he killed well it made me want to look into <laughs> the history of the underworld in mumbai uh, yeah. and and the mafia and how, when it began and how long it took root and what it was really involved in which is a whole other subject but Clearly did his research, clearly had a great team. Uh, what else can we say? Yeah, we enjoyed this movie. We enjoyed the movie. Yeah, this was really, really good. Let us know what other uh, Manoj, Bajpayi. Obviously, we'll, we're going to watch anything on your we'll watch it. ever done. Yeah. Um, anyways, but uh, Ram, Ram, say his name? Ram Goko Varma. Let us know uh, next film of his, because I know he's a legend. Yeah. I don't know what other films of his we need to watch, though. So please educate us. As well as. What is a precursor? I think I know the answer to it. I think it's, is it D uh, Diwa? Um, Diwar. Diwar, yeah. I think that's probably the precursor to this. It's probably most of um, uh, Amitak Bakchan. Yeah. Just, um, Which we've seen the trailer. Yeah. Uh, didn't we see a scene from Diwar? Yeah, we did. Yeah, so I want to know the angry young man precursor to this that kind of inspired Satya. I'd love to see it's probably one of those that. as well. Um, or it's something from a different region, who knows. Yeah. But let us know down below which film we should watch and review next. <laughs>